My VCP story. Back in 2004, I was doing professional services for a huge international computer company. I had been doing some work with hands-on data center consolidation for our Fortune 50 company, moving 200 physical systems into VMs using VMware Converter. Before this September of 2005 came along, when I was approached to write a statement of work for a large pharmaceutical company here in Connecticut. The catch was that the six-month contract required a consulting uh, consultants like me to have a VCP. I believe it was a Friday when I called my manager to tell him about this great opportunity and the catch and the price tag. You see, I was already quite familiar with VMware since the GSX days in the early 2000s, but the bill for the last minute travel in the class and test would top five grand. Of course, my manager's answer was yes, because we're talking about six months of contract work here. So I booked my Sunday afternoon flights and off I went on a 4.5 day boot camp in Chicago. There was considerable pressure to pass the VCP exam right afterward. And it sure wouldn't have been a good look for me had I not uh, studied hard in my home lab um, after that boot camp and readied myself to take and then pass that VCP exam. Yes, I've had home lab equipment for decades. Flash forward to today, and I know that there are a lot of hands-on lab opportunities for cloud-based remote learning. But for me personally, I learn by doing, and I'm better motivated to enjoy that learning if I take on a practical project in my home that lends itself nicely to leaving VMs running efficiently 24 seven, using best practices um, with building a vSphere cluster. And I blog as I go to help with the lessons learned and it helps those lessons sink in for myself and sharing it helps for others. So I think you can now see that how I can continue to keep my skills going with the VMUG Advantage comes in handy for me. Thank you for watching.